G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, I decided to uh, rebuild the power supply again because uh, that transformer down there, even though it's good, it's a bit dangerous and it sags a lot. There's some utterly high voltages coming off at like 160D uh, AC, sorry, and yeah, I just don't need it that high. Uh, 24 is about all I ever use the most. Um, so I've, what I've done is, is, remember the old box of hydraulic goodies? Well, I've stripped it out completely and uh, I've mounted these two lighting transformers in here which they can give me about 10 amps at 24 volts and that's plenty for, for an oscillator or mucking around like that. Um, I've got this big cap in there just as a, a surge cap like I don't really need it for filtering as such I don't think but it will smooth it out I'm sure. Um, 400 amp, sorry 35 amp 400 volt uh, bridge rectifier on the big uh, Apple heatsink. Um, I've just epoxied that in place. I'm going to put this cooling fan um, in here as well, it's going to sit like that, and that will just blow air over that uh, heat sink, keep it nice and cool, keep the bridge rectifier cool, probably circulate some air in the case, keep the other things a bit cooler as well. Um, and basically, I'm just going to have this uh, case like this. I've marked out where my panel meters are going to go, so amps is going to go there, volts is going to go there, where I've pre drilled the holes whole saw out ready to go. Um, I've also got a little power indicator here switch, there's a little power switch. Uh, so that, that's going to be on the AC side, just a little power switch uh, and that'll just, uh, you know, come on when the, what would you say, okay, it'll, it'll come on when you push it in, you know, it's a, uh, it's got a light in there, an indicator light. Anyway, so I'll uh, show you a bit more of this before I finish this video and uh, maybe I'll get it finished tonight, I'm not sure. I was going to do some uh, destruction, I cleaned up and I found some circuit boards to kill but uh, it started raining again like usual, everything's sort of wet out here again so mm. oh, none of that for today but I'll uh, finish off this power supply and show you and then see how we go from there. Okay everybody so this is kind of how far I got with the power supply, there's the uh, power button, I'm going to have a selector switch over here for 12 and 24 volts amps, volts, just like I said I would do, just hole sawed holes and then I've mounted them in there by die grinding it out to make it fit, um, I'm going to cover all that up in heat shrink to make it safe, um, that earth point goes down to there once it bolts in, and that whole plate will bolt into that casing, I'm a bit worried I've picked a capacitor that's a bit too big here, um, it's 8,000 microfarad. It might be a bit big for my purposes. I'll have to see, have to check online because uh, it's only meant to be a power supply. Now I'm worried that uh, the surge rating of my power supply might be so big that it might blow things up um, as soon as I hook them up. So I'm going to have to do some research into that. Pardon me. Um, I've got the uh, uh, transformers hooked up. Primaries in. Uh, primaries in parallel secondaries in series to give 24 volts. Now what I'm actually going to do is, is I'm going to have a uh, two-way switch, like a, a three-way switch I mean, you know, on, on, on and, and center, off center and then on again, a different contact, so I can actually choose which tap. So I take either from the 12 volt tap, the first tap, or the 24 volt tap, the second tap there, if that makes any sense to you. Um, so I'll just basically be able to, on the front panel, be able to select between 12 and 24. And then once all this is finished, I will put it up on the, the board up there next to the power, uh, the uh, switchboard. So uh, basically I'll have that up on the, the board next to the switchboard. Power will come in through here. Right, so that's just a nice neat little short cord. And I'll show you how my little light works here. Okay, power on, power off, power on, power off. That hole I made just a little bit too big so I'm going to have to... Uh, probably epoxy that one in as well just for safety and apart from that it's looking really neat I'm happy I'm pleased most of it's going to be made out of scrap parts except for the meters so uh, oh yeah except for the meters and the capacitor and the bridge rectifier which I bought for other projects anyway so it doesn't really matter so that's it midway it's getting too cold to do anything else thanks for watching